200 years in Egypt. Yeah? And we ask for the Christ. No, people say, oh, Mus the word Muslim means submit um, submit to one God. Say so, yes, we submit to one according God. To, according yeah. to wait a second. In Muslim mean yeah. in Arabic is Islam with the Tawheed. Right. Yeah. Which means in English to submit to Allah to the ones of Allah. Right. To worship Allah alone in the partner. Right. And to surrender to him and by obeying his messenger. Right. And to free ourselves from paganism and his people. Good. Good. From paganism and people. Because we don't like pagan neither. We don't pagan. See? But what I want to say to you is But this. I believe you are a prayer. But what I want to say to you is believe. Um, me believe in one God. You understand? One God. Who is that God? No, you believe in eh? Who is the God that you God believe in? God of Abraham, God of Jacob. Is that Jesus? Yeah. Jesus is the son can't be the father when Jesus said me and the father are one and him said me and the father are one but I'm not the father because there's somebody who's greater than him but the son so so so, so, yes. so, 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 I and the Father are one. Right. What do you understand from that? When me understand from me in this. Yeah, man. When me understand from me, just as he said, when you see me, you see the Father. If you love me, you love the Father. You love the Father. Yes, yeah, so what does that so mean? Anything you do want to me, you do want to the Father as well. So what basically, basically, okay, basically, basically the Father, the Father can imagine the Father coming, coming, come into this world with all these powers, all of us would have dead No. The Bible teaches that Christ is the greatest um, um, creation of the Father. Father created him. You understand? You know, ask me a question of respect. So, one, one. When Jesus just 61, six yeah. when Jesus said, I and the Father are one, yes. is the are one in essence or in purpose? In everything. They can't be in everything. In everything. Why they, they can't, can't be in everything? That's a good point. Why they cannot be in everything? Yeah. Because this passage, it has been explained in another passage. Jesus said to his disciples, one, he said, just as I and the Father are one, right? That's a, yeah. I pray to the Father, you be one with us. Right? So of course, disciples are not one in essence with God. They are one in purpose, meaning that the, the Father, which you call Father, for the sake. I, don't want, I will explain to you why this term was used back with the Israelites, is not actual Father. In Islam teaching, we, church, we abstain from that because it causes confusion. You understand? Right. So, listen to this. So in purpose meaning, God wants us to worship Him alone, follow His teaching. Jesus, that's why He came to teach us. His right. disciples, that's what they want. Not in essence, because Jesus said, hey, me right. Jesus said, the Father is greater than I. Right. Alright, therefore there cannot be one essence. Because if me and you, one essence, no one is going to be greater than the other one. Because you are the same essence. So what he said, so what he said, when you see me, you see the Father, me and my Father are one. You don't believe that? No, because I don't believe that. Alright, you 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 don't believe that. We do, because we know. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Yes. Hear me out. When Jesus said, before that, do you remember I spoke to you last week or two weeks ago? That I don't accept everything in the Bible. And I told you why from inside sources and outside sources, based upon history, I can explain to you why, why the Bible cannot be trusted. But let us go to the, the, the passage. When Jesus said, if you see me, see the Father. Any human beings think, okay, is the fa does the Father look like a, an, a, a, an Israelite? Uh, with a nose, a teeth, and so on. No, yes, 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 it does. It so, does. So, so the father human being. Yes. Oh no, the father not human being. He said, That's it, then. let's make let's make man in our image. So God created us in His image. No, His that, that, image. Why is, so he created. Why? That's why. That's the reason why He, he came before when He so when, God, he, when He visit so Abraham. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. When 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 He visit Abraham, who visit Abraham with the two angels? The angels. No oh, God. No not God. Not God. God. No, 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 why, why he Abraham bow down? I tell you before because that, Abraham know hey, why he Abraham say my Lord? Hey, me out, hey, me out, why he Abraham say hey, my Lord? Come on, hear me. No, we, come. Let me, let me, let me no, tell no, you. Come. Uh, no, but let me tell you something. Explain to you to show you about the Bible. So now we have to understand when Jesus said, "If you see, 
of the, the God created the man in his own image, okay? Yeah. We have similar statements in our Islamic sources. What does that mean? Does it mean God's human being means we have a knowledge, God has a knowledge, okay? We have a power, God has a power. We have a hand, God has a hand with His Majesty. We know there's nothing look like God at all. God is the creator and we are the creation. That's why it's here you need That's why we need you need and everyone needs the Christians, the Jewish, the Israelites, they need Quran and Islam to rectify and clarify and refute the doubt and the lies that, the, uh, that has been attributed to God in the Old Testament and explain that which is unclear. From that, when God said, let us create human our own image, not mean God is like human being or is like us, he gets sick, tired. No, Allah mentioned the Quran, There's nothing like God to Allah, and Allah has a hearing, and we have a hearing. But Allah is hearing, not like our hearing. Allah's hearing is perfect. Our hearing is deficient. Allah sees and we see. Allah do I sees is perfect and we are imperfect. Allah has a knowledge. We have a knowledge. So it's the same, but not the same in everything. Allah's knowledge is perfect. Our knowledge is imperfect. The other thing I want to mention to you that I remember that I remember that one I said to you, bro. The Old Testament, you cannot trust it. So if you say God came to Abraham, I said, no, the Quran is the criteria over the Bible. Why? Because the Old Testament cannot be trusted. And can I prove that to you? The Old Testament teach you that God was scared from his people. That doesn't make any sense to any human being because God is not scared of anything and of anyone. If you go to Genesis, let me ask you how the language came about. How the language came about. Came about. Yeah. The language we speak yes. came about. How we speak different languages. Why we speak different languages. Yes. Open Genesis 9 11. No, no, let me tell you. Let me tell you why we speak languages. God make us speak different languages so that we cannot understand each other because remember, I think the king was build, build, building a big tower to reach to God. In Genesis, so God confused, God, um, confused the people. Them that's why they wrote Babylon. So you scared in confusion. So you scared. So 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 he make us start to speak different language. Because you scared. Because we couldn't understand each other, we start separate and go to other places to live. That's why. Watch this. Uh, intellectually, that's what I said all the time, bro. I said what distinguish Islam from any religion or way of life. That Islam goes in line with the sound reasoning which the Creator has given to all of us. That's why Islam, that's why people naturally are inclined towards Islam. To go back to why we speak different languages. In Genesis, it says that God looked upon the earth and he saw people speaking, saw people speaking one language and they start building tall buildings and he said, he may speak one language and start building tall buildings mm -hmm. so nothing can stop them. And but this is the, the this, king. Yeah, the, the king the yeah, yeah. Them so to God, yes. God, God sent the angel to cause confusion yes. in order for the people. Yes. This because. This doesn't make any sense, you know why? Because that person... I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, no, no, to any human being with some reason. No, 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 I'm going to explain to you. Not to any human being, no, 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 I'm going to explain to you to understand. Because when I say that, you are speaking about everybody else. Hear me out, hear me out. I am a hearing you. Hear me out, yeah. I'll tell you why it doesn't make sense. Because this teaching, it it comes from the Sumerians. Sumerians believed that if you build two buildings, you'll be able to reach God. We now know for a fact, regardless how tall you're building, you will never be able to reach God. So God will scare some people, they're going to reach Him, but we know they cannot reach Him. So God was ignorant that He's so high, no one can reach Him. Seems like you see any scriptures in the Bible. No, 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 no. I believe it's so common. No, 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 no,
in the Quran, by the way. However, there are certain things in him and they will accept it because I'm not going to worship God that was scared because people spoke one language. Compare this teaching in the Old Testament with our teaching Islam. Prophet Muhammad mentioned if all men can finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because he was scared. That's what he said. That's what he said. He said, he said, because he said, 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 he looked upon the earth and he saw people speaking one language. Right. Speaking what? One language. And he said, they start speaking one language and they start building two buildings. Nothing can stop them. So, what he did, he said, We know human, many things can stop them. 9 11, I think 9 11 or 11 9. Let's go see. Okay, yeah, check it out. Check it out. Hello, yeah, Ginger. Hello, Ginger. Hello, Ginger. Hello, Ginger. Hello, Ginger. Hello, Ginger. Someone can check it. I was speaking different languages. It's in, uh, it's in Genesis, I'm sure. Yeah. So, in the out, yeah? Let's so, nine. God, God, he start speaking. They start speaking one language. Nothing can stop them. So, he start confusing them because they're big in two buildings. Look to the Islamic teaching. For what Muhammad said, if all mankind, everyone, okay. and the demons, they have the most evil hearts, they will not scare Allah. Do whatever you like. You're not going to affect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if all mankind, every human being, no. has the most... Hear me out, hear me out. No, read it, no. Yeah, before that, we're going to... Hear me out, hear me out. I'm going to read it in the content. Hear me out, hear me out. I'm going to read it in the content. Read the whole Bible, no problem. Hear me out. Hear me out. Look what Allah, Prophet Muhammad said. If all mankind have the most pious, righteous heart, that will not benefit Allah. If it's in Islam, do you know why I speak different language? Mm. It's a miracle from Allah. Not because Allah was worried, people spoke one language, he confused them. So read it now. I'll read it now. I'll read it from 